Today I'm sharing a little bit about what I've been painting using my travel paint box and I also really love painting this size after being such a big blooms painter for years and I still love painting big. Uh, I like the fact that you can just explore an idea quickly. This one is from Portugal and it's still going, it's still in progress. I've got to do some things around the sky, the top of that building, the little crosses on the church behind. I'm quite finished. This is one of La Forêt du Tomp, the little pathway between the fields. So this is what they look like when they're not framed up. They, they, they look fine, but here's what happens when you actually frame the work. It looks so good. And this one is of a little stripy peony done at, uh, you know, some warm-up pieces at French art school. And another peony. And hydrangeas. And when I went to um, Nice, I went to the supermarket and I bought these lovely artichokes and I had a gin and tonic. And my glasses were sitting there. I thought, ooh, it makes a nice composition. I'm going to paint that. So I did that. These are some lovely roses from a little French town called Gargilis. And I was out with um, students. We were walking around exploring. So I just took a snap and I painted a bit of a blousy roses back here. And actually, all of these are lessons that are going into a 10 lesson pack for uh, anybody coming to French art school next year. They get that as a bonus. This is a beautiful um, Antib roses. Um, and I just saw them at the market, but it was too hot to buy them because we were going to be in the van for the day and they wouldn't have lasted. So the man said I could take a photo. So I painted them later. I just thought they were gorgeous. Um, this is from um, the Villa Euphrasie de Rothschild. It's got all these different gardens. This one is the Italian garden. So that's another lovely one to do. And this one was painted in Paris, uh, sitting in the middle of the Seine on one of those beautiful islands in the middle of the Seine and um, near the Pont Neuf. So that was gorgeous. And then we went down to Provence. So um, yeah, we did some, we did stop in some beautiful lavender fields and uh, we only had a very short amount of time there, but I took some photos I really liked and um, did these as paintings, which I also turned into some lessons for that uh, bonus painting pack for the students who are coming on French art school. So there you go. Nice, but look how good they look framed. Um, look really nice. I've done my coastal paintings using the Bloom's paint, paint box and some lovely Barossa landscapes this way too. And I, I really like the result. I've done them with my friend, my friend BJ Moore has put them together and he did it using um, European oak, might be Italian oak actually. You can get Australian or Tasmanian oak, but he didn't have any at the time. And I thought, well, that's fitting. They are European paintings. So I took them home, framed them and then brought them back. There you go.